So hello and welcome people back to Let's Play Hybrid Heaven. We are in the second area of the game. The Dr. Boss Lab? Bross. I'm calling him Dr. Boss because that's an amazing name. He doesn't it's really fit. It's almost as good as Dr. President. No, noth nothing's as good as Dr. President. <laughs> What is this soundtrack? This is his theme. It's By the way, so I, ha goofy. I hate this flamboyant asshole more than anybody else in this entire game, but it will take a while before you understand why. He seems to have very, very loose control over his neck. Uh, just as good as any character in a Nintendo 64 game. Uh, so now um, is uh, one of the scariest part of this entire game. Uh, we have to run away from this gigantic, uh, gigantic alien, this gigantic oversized xenomorph, and because he's so gigantic, we cannot actually suplex him. So we can only run. I mean, at least it's not the polar bear from Crash 2. I'd be scared shitless. And we get a new enemy. So this is Kabuto's uh, third evolution. And uh, its signature move is grabbing. It loves to grab. Eh, just hit it with an electric type attack. You'll be fine. Yeah, they don't really have much of a special defense. But, yeah, um, plus... Remember, kids, rock is not immune to electric, only ground is. Exactly, unlike what the anime stated. You're <laughs> right. But uh, his, like uh, like a lot of enemies, uh, he has like a predetermined thing that he, li uh, that he likes to do. But he escaped from our, um, from our attack. And it could, could have been much worse. Um... That's because I caught, uh, I caught him in the middle of his uh, animation. He doesn't get to do his. Uh, by the way, uh, if you're up against a wall, run away. Because if you were actually pushed, uh, like, uh, smashing somebody against a wall does extra damage. It is very particular about the angle at which you have to be. Uh, you have to be pretty much exactly at... Uh, 90, uh, 90 degrees for uh, for the taking extra damage part to work, but he literally doesn't do anything other than grabs. Yeah. So he's actually a fairly easy opponent so long as you actually attack him before he grabs you and punches you into submission. Man, our right leg is getting really buff. Oh, it's, it's going to be just right leg and right arm. <laughs> Min maxing, and because this is a uh, this is a spawner point. Well, actually, uh, first I'm gonna collect these things by uh, nudging slightly against them until he decides to pick them up. Life charger M, very good. And Sounds like someone's racer. cell phone is going off in the background. He is. Uh, a ring eraser is uh, your uh, run away uh, item. Basically, kills off the enemy instantly. And yeah, right now, why don't I we have... just buy like 50 of those. Kill all the aliens. Well, you can't buy anything. Damn. No S rank, Uh But yeah, I have uh, beaten him uh, many, many more times. Uh, by going out of in and out of the room, and here is where I discovered that this game actually has a feature where the spawner points stop spawning enemies. If you just kill them hard enough. If you just kill them enough times, they stop spawning. Which actually, that's very smart decision from their parts because, like I said before, the enemies don't actually give you experience. It's the things that you do during combat uh, that matter. Obviously, eventually, 
uh, there is no real point in fighting uh, in fighting this exact same enemy because you will have learned all of their techniques and uh, also it's not like this game requires you to grind it's just it's just more fun to be uh, to be more powerful even if it's only on the right half of your body especially when it's only just the right half of your body <laughs> um, but while the um, oh, that's a cool little item use animation I like that mm -hmm. but while the uh, uh, you may be we're thinking, fighting a pig alien yes I mean they are hybrids based off of uh, various animals and people for the most part I mean we've seen Kabuto and as we know Pokemon are animals um, obviously but now now there is something different about me than it was before I, I can do two attacks um, it's like for example if I wait long enough I can perform two attacks or do a combo however doing combos uh, at this point in time isn't exactly like super useful it becomes uh, it becomes amazing uh, right to the wall exactly um, doing combos becomes absolutely amazing once you get uh, five turns which is the four pegs under your um, uh, under your power bar uh, as well as the full power bar because then when you do a right combination of attacks which you have to save, which I learned way later because, uh, well, it's not like this game has a tutorial or a very good guide on the game facts um, you get to perform special attacks something which I only learned during this playthrough but yeah, Power Booster. Power Booster is one of the most absurdly useful things uh, that you can get in this game. Uh, what it essentially does is, for the duration of the fight, uh, your power meter, which is, uh, if you don't remember, uh, the your turns, uh, they will raise uh, constantly. No matter what you do, no matter how, whether you run uh, or uh, jump around the whole time uh, or lie on the ground, well, lying on the ground will give you uh, turns, but like you, you, your turns are re replenishing exactly as though you were standing still. Dang. Yes. Uh, you actually get quite plenty of them for them being such useful items. Um, but I would keep them for uh, for bosses, uh, for, for specific, specific bosses. Uh, yeah, this... Um, How rude. Yeah, he can... Th thankfully, once he rams you, he has to uh, do this uh, Resident Evil thing of, you know, uh, turning around, going back, you know, because he has tank controls. And now we fight another one of those bag monsters. The uh, one with various balls. The one with 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 various ball sacks. That's where all of the heavy healing items come from. Uh. But yeah, now he's way less threatening than he was before. Actually, the better use of when you have um, uh, when you have two uh, two attacks like that um, is to actually just uh, flip the enemy, uh, like try to kick them to the ground, and then use uh, use a technique on them. Because for now, uh, like doing combos is neat, but it doesn't. Mm, it's from for, far from reaching its uh, true potential. And uh, uh, just so you know, you can actually say, uh, like, uh, after preforming each combo, you can uh, choose to save it. But um, 
sadly the game is like ultra spe uh, and before you get five uh, be before you get five turns there is absolutely no reason for you to save uh, any of your techniques because they're worthless because uh, none of them can actually initially initiate any special technique in the end so you can just free from whatever dumb. yeah it is a bit dumb That's something they, like, if there ever was a game similar to this, they should do, like, uh, freeform combos that actually begin at something like uh, three or so attacks, so you don't have to wait until the, uh, like, three-fourths through the game before you can uh, you can start doing cool shit. Legend of Glugai was good about that. Start doing cool combos right from the start. Yeah, you just have to wait a little bit longer uh, and like uh, stock up power, and then you can do this. Yeah. Uh, or, uh, or the Wild Arms games where uh, just you get uh, you have the force attacks fairly early on. It just becomes easier to use them as you gain levels because your starting force become uh, is your uh, is your level. All right. Double S. Still not an S. God damn it, Stan. What? I will, I will be slightly suckier than this, and I will get an S. <laughs> Poison Friggin shot. Put your money where your mouth is, man. I still have yet to see it. Um, Poison shot is uh, an item that you can use during combat, similar to flame shot. And as you would expect, it poisons enemies. And thankfully, this game is pretty nice about that. In that, uh, no enemies seem to really be uh, resistant to it. I can imagine that maybe some of them, which can actually cause poison on you, uh, will not take uh, like will not actually get poisoned. Uh, but you can use it against bosses. It's just like not super ultra. Is useful because this game is why is a poison percentage based? Well, it is, uh, it's just that um, this game is not a very uh, how would you say, uh, stally. Uh, waiting is actually a uh, waiting for a long time, uh, is not really a good thing in general to do. But I can I can imagine it uh, being useful against uh, bosses. Okay, here is the one of the most annoying parts of this entire chase because he just goes right in there, and I have to jump way up there. Well, he keeps attacking me. Like this. What a dick! You just have to kind of get lucky. Keep trying. There's no this guy. Yeah, there is really no way around this. Just yeah, get lucky. Uh. Yeah, my least par uh, favorite part of this jump. Uh, well, no, my least favorite part is this. If you do jump, you're dead, and you have to repeat from the last save point. Which was at the beginning of this whole chase. And uh, this is one of the few locations where the camera is fixed. So you can actually look around to see if there is uh, anything useful for you. Like life chargers. Yes. Um, I think you can actually manipulate the camera using the C buttons, but I never did that. I never found it too useful or convenient. And there we go. It's really mean that they put a, like a death pit right uh, right next to the save point, like right in front of the save point. Yeah. And our way back is uh, cut off, which is not bad because we wouldn't want to get back there anyway. And here, this is another endless endless spawn actually. 
Um, even though this enemy does not have a spawner, he will just always be on the ceiling. We've seen one of those. They run, uh, run at you. They have a pretty standard uh, move set, but it's best to uh, it's best to lock. Yes, it's nice that they just get back to their default position whenever you're about to abuse them. I can imagine they did that in order to, you know, uh, bridge suplex, yes. They, I can imagine they probably did that in order to avoid the, the issue of techniques never being useful. I love this. Yeah, I, love the, much. I love these techniques, they're so brutal. We haven't even seen, seen the best of them. Yeah, I'm I'm slight I'm slightly to the left. Sorry. Generally, you uh, like when making combos, you want to start off with a punch because that's the la uh, the most likely thing to hit, and then uh, it's a good uh, it's like if you if you want to, you can. Uh, Start. Uh, you can start doing kicks uh, because kicks are uh, more likely to like get interrupted, or uh, the enemy is more likely to dodge it because they're uh, you know uh, they they're a little bit slower. And here uh, there was a, there is a small little detail. Uh, if you're up against a wall and uh, you do a technique. Um, no matter whether it is you or the enemy, um, they will actually move like uh, a step towards the middle of the room. Uh, and that is probably because uh, I can imagine that they run into the issue of um, some of the animation just clipping you through the wall or something. Because you know, you're getting thrown uh, into some, uh, into some, uh, see, S rank. I didn't see it, therefore it doesn't count. I will make a screenshot of it and send it to you on Discord. Life Charger S's don't count, Nico. It's not what I was talking about, but okay. Dash two out of three. Jesus. You are having so much trouble with the platforming today. Well, I haven't shown like the like the three times I died, so you know. But yeah, when, uh, that's what I'm gonna do for whenever I actually uh, have to replay a fight uh, that has already been seen. Yeah, he's so happy. Um, uh, I've actually replayed that fight uh, several times. Uh, it's just that uh, I cut out a few of them. Like, uh, on the way there and on the way back, because I was uh, going back to the heal spot. You know, why waste? Uh, why waste healing items when it's right there, right? Right. And as you can hear, yeah, there we go. This is a new enemy type. He makes big steps forward. If you can get if you can get him caught in the middle of his um, uh, in the middle of his uh, animation, uh, in the middle of his animation of stepping forward, uh, is he's really easy to hit. However. Uh, his animation of attacking is um, a little bit different from yours because uh, he, as you saw, makes a step backwards and then leans forward when punching. Which means he's really, really, really hard to actually counter, but that doesn't really matter because you're never going to be using counters anyway. If you value your life, that is. You can't counter someone just inching towards you messed up, man. Just terrifying.
But yeah, there, uh, there are several enemies uh, like this where they um, uh, where they do actually change up some things compared to you, but that only makes things uh, you know more interesting. Um, like for example, there is a certain upgrade to to this guy, um, which makes even bigger steps, uh, which makes even bigger steps uh, forward and even bigger steps backwards. So you have to be uh, you have to be pretty good with timing uh, whenever you actually want to hit them or abuse their uh, long ass animations. Yeah, I don't look. I don't like the look of the next area. Oh, and by the way, uh, this guy does not spawn uh, based on, uh, like, oh, I entered this tile of the floor, that is when he's going to appear. Uh, that's not actually the case. Uh, he will spawn uh, based on how much time passes, so you only have a moment. Uh, but what you're supposed to do here is, I believe... Uh, I don't remember exactly. Uh, that thing looks like a switch that you can deactivate using uh, your diffuser. Exactly. Although it does not glow like most other things that you can deactivate using your diffuser. And uh, yeah, this guy is annoying. I don't particularly hate this section. I don't. Uh, I don't. It's. It actually does a good job at uh, you know being tense. Because, you know, the, the music's good for it. And uh, this guy is an actual legitimate threat. Uh, interestingly enough... Um, oh, this is ass. This is so complete ass. This is so double ass. You weren't there. So he's Fuck a giant everything. xenomorph who's good at stealth. This is essentially Dino Crisis, but I'm not exactly sure if Dino Crisis didn't come out later than this. When was Dino no Crisis? Dino Crisis was like super late PS1, right? It was really early PS1, I think. Early? I think. Don't. Uh, I'm not sure. We'll have to check on that. I mean, it was. Uh, it was a. Uh, Resident Evil clone, that's for certain. Yeah. And yeah. The, the first Dino Crisis actually used a 3D environment as opposed to 2D backgrounds, which was pretty advanced for uh, for a PS2. For, for, for a PS1, I mean. For a PS2. No other PS2 had done 3D before then. No, definitely not. <laughs> but yeah, I'm pretty. I'm just saying. Dino Crisis is the Dark Souls of Survivor Horrors. You know, I may get you banned for you for using that sort of comparison <laughs> to anything. <laughs> Hybrid Heaven is the Dark Souls of platforming, shooter, bullet hell, survival horror platformers. It RPGs. Wrestling. Yes. I think you, I think you said platformers twice, even though even though plat, uh, platforming is well, almost one, over. Well, one aspect is two D, the other is three D. Come on, get with it, Nico. This is a good point. This is. But yeah, I like like I was like I was saying, I do like this section because it's uh, it um, it's actually like feasible within the game engine, what you have to do. Um, it is tense and you actually like, you know, have to think about what you're doing and uh, you are... Uh, it is very likely that you would actually die. How the hell is he getting here before us? And this is so Dino Crisis, like the like. Oh yeah, this right here. This this is straight up Dino Crisis right here. And I missed it. Wow, failure. It, you even it, looks like you like a dance there. It's fine.
Yeah, no need, no need to, no need to hurry. He's not, he's not coming through. It's black sea glass. Yeah. yeah.
So that explained everything. I agree, it did. Yeah, it actually did. Like, they actually did a pretty good job of explaining everything that wasn't clear up until this point. Yeah, props to him. That was a really good scene. Mm-hmm. I really like it.